pitching Twitter. I got it all out of my system. I filmed it. Now I'm going to go do work and be productive and live my life like I don't know what Twitter is. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlotte, you can call me Charlie, and today, well not today today, but over the course of this vlog, we're just going to talk about PitMad. This is my first ever PitMad and I am so excited. My goal for 2021 was to start querying and we're going to start in a couple days. I have been working on pitches and I realized like yesterday that a pitch is not 280 words, it's 280 characters. Yeah. So if y'all use Twitter, that should be pretty obvious to you because the character amount on Twitter is 280 characters. But I am new to Twitter. I have never used Twitter before February. And I am so excited because I have found a pit mad like group so we all edit each other's pitches, which is where I learned that a pitch is 280 characters. But yeah, so th that's what I've been doing the past day. I've also been writing synopses, I've been writing queries, and I've been writing different counts, word counts of summaries, kind of. I was told from like YouTube community videos, how-to videos, that basically author literary agents will ask for anything and everything basically that means that i need to have everything and anything at my disposal so maybe you'll find this a little excessive but even if i don't use it for pit mad i will use it later on in this journey to querying because i don't want any surprises i want to be able to see the submission requirement and just be like voila it's yours you know it's hard it's hard to write pitches, but I actually find pitches easier to write than, than synopsis is. I don't know. I just, I feel weird giving a playback of my book. I'd rather write a pitch or like even the query letter was easier than the synopsis. So if y'all have any tips about that, if you guys have written this stuff before, you know, tell me which one was easier for you because yeah, I don't know, I thought it was interesting. And I'm also very proud of my pitch. I am very proud of my 100 word pitch before I realized I had to like kill it and bury it underneath the ground for who knows how long. But yeah, so I'm, I decided that I'm going to take you on this journey of uh, pit mad with me and we will see how it goes. So yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, good morning. It is the 2nd of March. There is my tripod over there, so you can see that I'm using this handheld right now for a second. And I just wanted to say good morning. I won't be doing much pitch writing right now, and that's just because I have a lot of work to do. But hopefully later tonight, I can kind of consolidate my pitch and get everything ready. I also have to format my manuscript just in case. Just in case, guys. Just in case. I have come up with an idea. We're gonna call it the Cami Cam, and I need some cat loving, so. 
Ooh, I found her. And yes, we do have our Christmas tree up still. It's okay. It is almost 11 p.m., but I finally finished work for the day, which means I can start editing my pitch. Maybe I'm over editing it, but I blame it on the pre pit mad anxiety and chilling. So, yeah. <laughs> is the 4th of May. No, May the 4th. That is totally wrong date. <laughs> Today is March the 4th. It is pit mad. It is my first pit mad. I am so excited. I just spent the last hour pitching my story and retweeting everyone else's pitches. And it has been so cool to be able to see all the comp titles and all the pitches and to see just Twitter blowing up with so many cool tweets and stuff. I have spent the last hour, it is about 9-ish a.m. retweeting people and I was told to be careful, watch out, because you may be put in jail if you retweet too many times. Yep, Twitter jail is a thing. I didn't even know it was a thing, but apparently if you retweet too many times, if you look like a bot, then apparently you are a bot so you get put into Twitter jail so yeah <laughs> I just thought that was I don't know if anyone else knows that I guess if you use Twitter you know that but I didn't know that because one of my to do's in February was to figure out what Twitter is and how to use it so yay goal completed woohoo <laughs> so yeah uh, now I don't know what to do the pit mad is from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., which means I have two more pitches to go, and it is only 9 a.m. My next pitch tweet will be, I think, 12-ish? 12? That makes sense, right? But yeah, that means I still have a lot to go. I don't want to wait. I just want to pitch everything all right now in five seconds. I'm also really nervous, so I actually woke up at like 7.20 this morning and instead of, you know, just chilling, going back to sleep, whatever, I rewrote all my pitches because I was nervous. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm nervous, but I'm nervous. No one's liked my tweets yet, so that's sad, but <laughs> I still think it has been so much fun. So yeah, I guess I'll update you when I post my next pitch. <sighs> Pitching Twitter. I got it all out of my system. I filmed it. Now I'm going to go do work and be productive and live my life like I don't know what Twitter is. Okay, wish me luck. <laughs> As promised, I am checking in. It is currently 12.30. This morning I watched one lecture. I checked my phone slash Twitter about a dozen times every five minutes <laughs> and then I almost put my butter in the dishwasher. So I think it's safe to say that I'm a little distracted, but it's okay, it's okay. 
actually it's not okay I think I'm gonna put my phone away for a little bit after I take this break and post my next pitch just because I have stuff I want to do today So it is currently midnight, I did not film right after I did my last tweet, pitch tweet. I have a very bad habit at ending these vlogs off at midnight. <laughs> but basically it was a very fun filled fantastic day and I met so many new people, so many new friends and I spent the entire day retweeting tweets, at least now I know for next time what the time commitment to a pitch fest like this is. I also realized that I don't know why I bothered writing a Twitter pitch beforehand. Like, I used basically none of those tweets. None of those tweets. So, they just kind of like sat there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm a, I'm a plants to a picture as well. I'm not going to tell you that it worked out the best for me. Two of the out of my three pitches could have used a lot of work. After I spent six hours looking at them, I realized that mistake. Last but not least, I realized times to pitch. So a lot of I did what I didn't understand when I we first went into Pit Mad was why people posted there were three tweets within 30 minutes of each other and then I realized it's like strategic okay some some people are only on Twitter in the mornings like I would say after 10 a.m. the entire pit mad extravaganza just kind of dies down and it just continuously dies down until finally at 4 p.m the pit mad world is virtually silent except for if you're going back to look at retweets and then some people will do post the very last pitches at the very end and I did that. I posted my last pitch at like 6 p.m. I was like two hours that's gonna give me enough time for anything but no one was on Twitter at 6 p.m. at least not in the same volume as in the morning so if I do this again that's definitely something I need to check out and I guess what you're all waiting for, people tell me that I should be double checking my pit mad likes at least by the end of tomorrow because just in case agents come and check you out and stuff, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Out of my three posts, one of them blew up more so than the others and I was liked by a bunch of small indie publishing houses and one literary agent agency. I'm so excited to look them up to see if I want to be ripped by them and then when it comes to the indie publishing houses I don't know enough about indie publishing houses to really make a decision yet so I guess yeah that's all I'm gonna be doing for the next while is researching and also also I don't know when the deadline to send in my query from PitMad is because yeah researching who knows how long researching will take because I have to weigh the pros and cons I also have to send in my query and thankfully I have written my query thank you very much but yeah we'll see we'll see fingers crossed fingers crossed to see if anyone else likes my post tomorrow I know it's not a very big chance, maybe like a 0.1% chance, but who knows. So far, this pit mad has been so amazing, and there's just so much advice to be given, and so much advice to give. So, yeah. Anyways, I think this will be the end of the vlog. Thank you all so much for watching this vlog. Thank you for joining me on my writing journey. And if you like these types of videos, please don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit that big notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video, which is every Friday. And I will see y'all next week.
Bye.